So click start to start the virtual machine. I only have one virtual machine running here, uh, but theoretically I suppose I could have half a dozen running in the, the left hand side. So you can see now it's, it started the Linux boot sequence. So this takes about a minute, which is probably about half as long as it would, or twice as long as it would take on a, a standard desktop. Uh, not sure why that is. It seems a little bit slow. Just put a minute to get a machine up and running is, I suppose, not too bad. You can see the outline of Jing up in the top right hand corner, the little kind of looks like the quarter sun up at the top right hand corner of the screen. And then down at the bottom left hand corner, you can also see uh, kind of controls for it. So that's how you would know it's, it's recording. So here's the desktop coming up now. And I wanted to click on Firefox there, but I clicked on the wrong one. <laughs> Missed it in the task bar at the top. So some help thing opens up. Which I then close. And popped into Firefox. Now the internet didn't have to configure the internet, so it just uses the existing internet access on the uh, Apple laptop. So I went off the CESI site and it's automatically up and running because the internet is up and running already on the, the laptop. Speed-wise the internet was pretty much the same as using it on the, the laptop proper. I was going to stop recording at this stage, I went down to the control the bottom left hand corner. And then I changed my mind and decided I'd close Firefox and actually record the sequence of it shutting down as well. So here we start the shutdown sequence. And it, it goes through the, the standard kind of shutdown routine that you would have on the desktop. And presumably you could have two or three of these running at the same time in Windows or any other operating system except for Apple, because they don't allow you to do this kind of thing. And that's it, powered off.